more. Yep. So you're going to be here. Okay. Now, what's really nice about these flower sack towels is you're going to have to use two towels. This dough's pretty active. Did you see how it, mm -hmm. it's been sitting out since um, about 8.30 this morning? So it's not going to take a full 50 to 60 minutes to rise. It's going to take more, probably like 40. So we're going to put this over here. And in 25 minutes, and this netting causes that tightness. That's the proteins in the flour. All right? When you coat it with a fat, you're keeping some of that moisture in the bread. Therefore, it'll last longer. Okay. French bread is the bread, like it's the virgin bread. It has none of that in that. It's just flour, water, yeast, and salt. And you have to make sure that you let that fermentation occur properly to get that wonderful sugary the flavor from the starch out of the bread to give you the flavor. When you coat it with olive oil and all that other stuff, you're not as concerned with the flavor of bread. You know what I mean? I mean, there's other flavors going on. That's why this bread is, to me, the, the artful bread. Master this, and you can master everything. Now, it tastes pretty good. However, when you taste it cold, you're going to see a huge difference. It's kind of gummy. It's, mm -hmm. so it's, you're going to go from the middle here to the middle there. If you're right-handed, you're going to go this way. If you're left-handed, you're going to be going this way. Okay. And you're going to make a kind of happy face. Not too happy, but happy. Slash, right? And the blade is going to be at a 45 degree angle to the bread. There's a lot to remember. I take my right fingers, I hold the loaf here so it doesn't fly off the board. And then I practice. For some reason, if you hold your pinky up in the air, it works better. <laughs> it's like Gigi's better. Yes. And you know how handwriting, you all hold your paper at a different angle? You're going to hold your peel at a different I don't know. It's whatever's going to feel right for you. Okay? I like to have mine kind of parallel to, to my body. And here we go. The faster you do this, the better the slash. It's fast, and it's just the tip of the blade not the whole blade. Okay, that's not quite deep enough. So I'm going to go back through with little rips, keeping that angle. Okay, put my blade back where it belongs. And now this is the old tablecloth trick. You're going to put the peel where you want the loaf and then jerk it. And then the bread stays in the oven. So you always check to make sure it's not sticking. Right? Okay, I'm going to go on the far left. 